How to make homemade creamy potato salad. Our first step is to wash about a pound of fingerling potatoes. Now you could use any kind of fingerling potatoes. You don't have to use this kind. Whatever kind you like, as long as they're fingerling. Watch, wash each one thoroughly. Grab yourself a microwave safe plate or dish and add your pot washed potatoes in one even layer. Grab yourself a fork and poke each and every one of your potatoes at least two to four times, depending on how big they are, and poke each one so you can create air vents. Now, I don't know if you guys can see all the holes I made, but be careful not to poke yourself because it does hurt. But once you've got all your potatoes poked, you want to put them in a microwave for about two to four, start off with two to four minutes. Um, basically, you just want them fork tender and fully cooked. This will save you a lot of time instead of boiling water and doing it like the traditional way. When your potatoes are fork tender, take them out of the microwave and let them rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes. I also suggest carefully flipping them over because the bottoms will be wet. And if you don't flip them over, the bottoms will end up being hard. Um, you can let them sit for 15 to 20 minutes until they at least are you can able you're able to actually hold them and then it is up to you if you want to start this next process while they are still warm or you can wait for them to go completely cold because apparently hot potato salad is a real thing leave a comment down below let me know what you like better hot potato salad or cold potato salad now when your potatoes are either warm enough to hold or completely cold, depending if you want hot potato salad or cold potato salad. You want to cut each one to about one um, inch, inch pieces. So, probably like that, maybe a little bit bigger. As long as they're bite-sized, it's fine. Almost forgot to mention, yes, you can peel these if you want to. I'm not going to, though. As you finish cutting your potatoes into bite-sized pieces, throw them into a medium to large size bowl, depending on how many potatoes you're making. Once you've got all your potatoes chopped up to bite-sized pieces, you're going to need mayonnaise, plain Greek yogurt, and salt and pepper to taste. This next part is a little subject subjective, because um, some people like really wet um, potato salad but some people like their potato salad on the slightly drier side so I recommend starting off with a quarter cup of mayonnaise and a quarter cup of Greek yogurt plain Greek yogurt and start and go from there if you feel like adding more add more if you feel like adding a little bit less add a little bit less just remember you can always add more you can't take it away don't forget to also add salt and pepper to taste Give your potato salad a good mix. Once you've got your desired amount in, mixed in well, it's ready to eat. Now I know some people like adding some diced onions in theirs. You can add that, feel free, or celery, or um, if you want to boil some eggs and mince those up real well, you can add some paprika. Potato salad is pretty versatile. You can add a lot to it. So enjoy. Personally, I love cold potato salad, so I'm definitely putting my batch in the fridge. Enjoy!